What's happening now is that software is starting to take on its own life and build in completely new kinds of processes that never existed in paper before. And those are what's really differentiating uh, businesses. And so the life cycle of those and the change rate of those changes as fast as people can consume them. And this is a big change from a once a year deployment to we have enterprises doing 20 deployments a week. And, and so that clock speed change and that style of process change that's happening is really remarkable. So this is where you hear this word digital transformation, which I don't open with, but that's really what all of these changes lead up to. That change is I think at the heart of sort of the Pivotal and Google partnership, which is we're really bringing the ability to go compete with software and be great at software and do it in a scalable data integrated way to all these large enterprises. We used to have scarce giant resources like mainframes and the few heroes who could use them. But now we've got abundance of computation. It's basically free. Now from 1992 to 2012, the cost of computation dropped by a factor of 3,700. The cost of storage dropped by a factor of 18,900. So you think about the absolute all out abundance of computational infrastructure, well then you've got a new scarcity. The scarcity is actually the developers, not the infrastructure. So what they want, what they want to deploy, the things they can imagine, actually have a much bigger impact on your business than the cost of the infrastructure. We focused on developer productivity from another point of view, which is how can you build billion user experiences that can rapidly iterate based on what users want and not also burden those developers with understanding scale and reliability. So we've taken our internal competencies, which we call technical infrastructure. It's the opposite of IT, get it? It's TI. About 11,000 engineers who do nothing but support the other 40,000 engineers who support Gmail, search, ads, right? We have seven different businesses that have over a billion users each. So that partnership is actually how Google runs. It's all about developer productivity for our developers. The partnership with Pivotal is about bringing the best of what we know about what that infrastructure is to the best of what Pivotal knows, which is what are the runtime platforms and the tooling like Spring that developers really love because it just gets out of their way and they get things done. If your software practice is not incredibly agile, your business process is stuck in concrete and you won't evolve. It's very satisfying to sit here a year later and say Kubernetes and Cloud Foundry are coming together very pragmatically in some obvious ways, but also some surprising and very beautiful ways. The de-risking of open source helps you reduce migration cost, right? You can bet on Kubernetes, you can bet on Cloud Foundry and know that there are vibrant multi-vendor communities. Everybody's worried about making the wrong choice. Right? So how are they de-risking their decisions so that they can make a decision now? And everybody's worried about developer productivity. We've got a shared infrastructure, the shared management layer in Bosch. We've got a shared service broker so you can get to all the same services like data services or analytics services, machine learning services, whatever you want, wherever you are. So just make it work. So that joint engineering, customer obsession, and this focus on eliminating this risk of this or that by making it an and is a really big deal. And if you watch where the puck is going, there's a lot more coming. The truth is, value is only found in the market by customer interaction. What you start with is always wrong and then you have to incrementally get it less wrong. So it's all about cycle time and velocity. I can iterate my product based on customer feedback in one week, and somebody else takes a month, then I can get 52 cycles in a year and they only get 12. My software will be so much smarter because it's compounding interest. So that's what I mean when I say you have to bet on velocity. So when you look at the pivotal sprints, when you look at the two week release cycles that you get in Cloud Foundry, when you look at the nine, 10,000 times that we release software per day in Google, like we're companies who have been practicing velocity for a long time. I authentically believe we've got a great opportunity and there's no two better companies to go and do this for the world than Pivotal and Google.